Hello everyone, I am Dr. Swati Vispute, Assistant Professor in the area of Human Resource Management from Symbiosis Institute of Management and Studies, Pune. The topic that we are going to discuss today is Organization Development Concept and OD Practitioner. So to talk about Organization Development as a concept, there are different authors who have given different definitions. However, the definition given by Richard Bickhart is encompasses all concepts or all characteristics of the organization development. So to define organization development in the words of Richard Bickhart, it is an effort which is planned organization wide and managed from top to increase the organizational effectiveness and health through planned interventions in the organization's processes using behavioral science knowledge. So to explain this definition further, we can say that organization development is a planned effort. So it means that it requires a proper planning with respect to collection of data, analyzing data, designing interventions and implementing those interventions. So it includes a continuous planning by the organization development practitioners. OD is, a, is an organization wide concept. It means that OD practices take place throughout the organization. It is not restricted to any specific individual or any specific individual department. OD uh, process is managed from the top of the top management of the organization as it requires uh, involvement of each and every individual and a department of the organization. OD processes are initiated by the top management of the organization. OD practice or OD uh, development or organization development increases organizational effectiveness. So it means that effectiveness happen when organization is in a position of managing their own problems uh, on their own. It happens when there is improvement in the organization's economic and financial performance. Effectiveness happens when organization have employees or workforce which is engaged and satisfied and ready to learn continuously. So effectiveness of the organization is one of the, concept, one of the characteristics of organization development. As it is mentioned in the definition that it improves the uh, effectiveness of the organization with the help of planned interventions. So your organization development practitioners design various interventions as per the requirements of the organizations to improve organizational processes. Now these processes means the way organization communicates with, uh, with various departments and individuals as well as the way organization solves its problems. Also the definition says that organization development activities involve using behavioral science knowledge. It means that it makes use of the knowledge from the area of leadership, organization development, organization strategy, organization design and the systems knowledge. So as said, organization development applies to the changes in the strategy, structure and processes of the organization. So strategy includes the strategy at the organizational level, at the divisional level or at the departmental level of the organization. Organization development involves the design, implementation and the subsequent reinforcement of change. Here organizational development practitioner designs the intervention. It gets involved various departments and related divisions for implementing those interventions as well as after implementation the change is reinforced by the organization. So organization development is complete only after the change is incorporated within the organization. Now let's look at the concept of OD practitioner or OD consultant. There are various types of individuals who can be called or who can be termed as OD practitioner or OD consultant. Basically, there are three types of individuals who can be called as OD practitioner. First, the individuals who are specialized in OD as a profession can be called as OD practitioners. They can be internal consultants or external con consultants to the organization. It also includes the category of employees who are at the top managers or who are the functional heads or even the staff groups of the organization. The second type of individuals who can be called as OD practitioners are those who are specializing in the functions which are related to organization development. 
लाइक रिवॉर्ड सिस्टम्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिजाइन टोटल क्वालिटी इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड बिजनेस स्ट्रैटेजी एट्सेट्रा देर आर ऑल्सो अदर इंडिविजुअल्स हु कैन बी कॉल्ड एज ओडी कंसल्टेंट और ओडी प्रैक्टिशनर्स दे आर वेरियस मैनेजर्स एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स हु हैव गेन कॉम्पिटेंसी इन द एरिया ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट through their experience they gain that knowledge and that helps them to get involved into organizational development practices they apply these knowledge and experience in their own area of work and these are the three categories of individuals who can be called as od practitioners to be a successful od practitioner there are certain competencies which are required to be possessed by an individual these competencies includes various traits knowledge experiences and skills to talk about the skills that are required to be possessed by successful od practitioner there are four types of skills majorly required to be possessed by them one is interpersonal skills intrapersonal skills general consultation skills and organization development theory related knowledge to talk about intrapersonal skills the od practitioner is required to be self aware should be aware of her his or her own self to be in a position to help out the organization and individuals of the organization od practitioner also requires to possess interpersonal skills which includes ability to work with others and work with various groups in an organization the general consultation skills is another skill that is required to be possessed by a successful od practitioner which includes knowledge of the consulting consulting process as well as ability to manage each of these steps in the consulting process of the organization and and the next is organization development theory as it is said that od makes use of behavioral science knowledge for the purpose of designing and creating change or development within the organization so similarly the knowledge of organization development which includes the knowledge of various behavioral science studies is required to be possessed by the successful od practitioner the role of od practitioner is pretty demanding there are different levels at which the od practitioners needs to manage the role demands of his position the role demands are dependent on position marginality emotional demands as well as use of knowledge and experience to talk about position the od practitioner as said can be an internal consultant or the external consultant internal consultant is the one is like an employee of the organization who is given a responsibility of organization development and change and the external consultant is the one who is been hired by the organization to look after organizational change and organization development activities so in case of internal consultant the consultant is in a position to have greater knowledge compared to the one who is the who is an external practitioner so therefore internal consultant needs to be very cautious with respect to the data collected with respect to the data use and with respect to the data presented for the purpose of organization development so it is very critical to manage the position of organization development consultant whether the person is internal consultant or an external consultant the second role demand of od practitioner is marginality the marginal person is the one who is in a position to straddle the boundaries between two individuals or two group of individuals who are involved or who are responsible for organization development activities now here these two groups might have different goals different value systems and different expectations from the organization it becomes very challenging for od practitioner to manage or the balance the requirements or expectations from these group of individuals thus the responsibility or the role demand of od practitioner is marginality the next demand the next role demand of od practitioner is using knowledge and experience as an od practitioner individual possesses lot of information and lot of experience in the area of organization development however where to make use of this information to whom to reveal this information is a challenging task if there are certain restrictions with respect to sharing that information and knowledge that needs to be managed by the od practitioner and here here it is very important for od practitioner to consciously use 
the knowledge acquired as well as the experience acquired for the purpose of designing required OD interventions for the organization. To sum up, we have seen, we have discussed the concept of organization development and some of the characteristics of organization development. And we have also seen what do you mean by OD practitioner, various competencies of OD practitioner and the role demands of OD practitioner. Thank you everyone for watching this video and stay tuned for more such informative sessions in future.